this is the first morning that I'm going to be eating my first meal of egg omelet on two dollars a day uh, and I just heated it up in the microwave so it's a little bit hotter um, it looks pretty good it smells good the bacon's awesome bacon and eggs is awesome in the morning so that's a good thing it's a good breakfast meal definitely so I will just uh, eat this now and tell you what I think of it so I'm about to test my uh, ketones right now I have a freestyle keto meter here this is the one uh, these are, I actually got this for free in Australia and I have a blog post that I'll link to here on how to get that for free. I'm not sure if you still can. It doesn't come with ketone strips but these are the expensive part of testing ketones. Testing your ketones all the time probably isn't feasible. Definitely on $2 a day this is not feasible but for testing purposes and to see what this diet does to me I'm going to be testing my ketone levels okay so Ooh. I haven't used this in a while um, but we'll see if it still works Two, one. <sighs> okay so I'm at 0 0.8 millimoles that's not too bad that's all right and it's in the morning as well so they're usually lower in the morning we'll test tomorrow at the same time and see how I go Keto on $2 a day so far is going pretty well. I really wish I could have some of this. That is coffee. Um, I usually have, I don't know, two or three cups of coffee a day. And I sort of do it a little bit out of boredom. Realizing that habit is a good thing right now um, because I don't need to do it. And I have nothing left to do except go live on Facebook. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be showing you how I set up for a live Facebook recipe video. I can't eat the recipe. So I have to do one that I have already made. going live on Facebook. Check it out. A few moments later. Well, that was a little bit of fun. I just made eggnog live on Facebook. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. So it's lunchtime. Jump in and grab one of the bigger containers because I'm feeling a little bit hungry right now. lunch Gemma is sounding pretty loud so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it for a walk and yes my cat walks on a leash <laughs> check it out share a few things with you guys of what I had been feeling. Food is one of those things that fills a massive gap between waking up and going to bed, right? When you have everything planned and you don't allow for spontaneity in food, it can become quite boring. I'm pretty bored. I thought this was going to be a good thing. The omelette is very tasty and I'm glad it's got bacon in it. But to be honest, I would really love to just create something and, and try that. I feel that the problem is not what to eat. The problem is what to do in the times between eating. I might edit some more photos or I might make another recipe, but I can't eat it. So it's really hard being a food blogger and having a, a meal plan, if that makes sense. Alrighty, so it's currently 10 to seven at night time. What I've been finding is that whenever I feel hunger, or if, if, if there's a time where I really wanna be eating food, if I drink um, water, just from a water bottle like this, it helps a lot. There's a lot of merit to actually just drinking water. Doing keto on $2 a day is, is so far really teaching me that a lot of my food habits were probably built around boredom uh, or maybe even a lack of water. So being able to drink a lot of water uh, is, is really helpful. 
I started to get a little bit of a headache before and I think that's just from the lack of caffeine. Maybe there was possibly enough caffeine in my system from yesterday to uh, fight that off until uh, this afternoon. Right up until now, I've been pretty good. So I'm about to have dinner. Uh, it's just gonna be another good old omelet with bacon in it. And I actually really look forward to the bacon. That's like the best part about it. If it was just eggs, it would probably be a little bit sickening, but because of the bacon, um, it makes it taste really, really good. And it also gives me a fair amount of salt. And so I'm just gonna grab one of these containers and try and get a, 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 a big one, which is this one. This has been day one of the Keto on $2 a day. Thank you everyone for watching. If you subscribe below, you'll see the next video as it comes out. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really having a lot of fun. It's really not hard. Keto can be done on $2 a day. It really can. My name is Aaron. This is Fat for Weight Loss. And I hope you have had a fantastic day. I've had a fantastic day. And I will see you tomorrow.